Want to learn how to create lighting that hides objects like an Among Us? Alright, so just to give you an idea of how my scene is set up, I just have a sprite here. Uh, acting as my background, I'm just using the placeholder texture. And that is what you're seeing here. It's just acting as my background, so we have something going on, so it's not just plain gray, because it's easier to see the lighting. Now, of course, this could be your tile map, if you're working that way, or your image, if you're just going to build uh, your collision box and that around an image that you import, whatever it is that you're doing. I'm just using this as my background. Now, my player, in my case, is just a sprite. For you, it could be a character body doesn't really matter here and the script that's on it is just using the default controls UI up down left right and I have my enter key set to just allow me to rotate nothing special All right, so where we get into it is with the point light alright so that's what we're gonna use here we're gonna use a point light not a directional light here we need one point light and you're going to use a texture and that texture is going to be white. That way it can be a light. Now it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be a soft circle like you see here. Boom. This is pretty much just going to affect the area that you're lighting up. So the region that you want to light. Well, obviously if you wanted something like uh, Among Us, you would go for some kind of a circle like this that's faded out uh, and use different sizes for the innocent and the imposter. If you want your entire screen lit up, you would use something like uh, this one, which is just a big uh, white square. That's extremely large enough to cover my entire screen. And if you wanted to go a little spooky, you could go with the classic cone, the classic vision cone. All right, so either way, it doesn't really matter what you choose to go with. That's all gonna be personal preference. I'm gonna use this big uh, white square that way we can have a clear idea of what's going on. All right, so I'm, I've got a plain white square with no transparency or fade to it. I have my energy set to 0 0.54. Um, by default, this is a one, and for me, that's way too bright. Uh, for you, that could be different. Alternatively, we could just come in and tweak the opacity here, which would be another option. Um, I'll go ahead and change that. I'll put that down to 100. Blend mode is left on add, and what we want to enable here on our light is going to be shadows, turn it on, and you don't have to worry about the color, you can just leave that as empty. Now what you need to change here is the item call mask under shadow, you're going to change that to 2. Uh, in our case, and you could do 1, but as you see uh, right now, uh, since I'm going to be using 2 for this, uh, one. I have lost all of my shadows, so I'm going to be using two for my shadows here. And the next thing for us to set up uh, is my, I have my static bodies here, which are casting my shadows. And for that, the main thing we want to look at here is the light occluder and set the occluder light mask to two, the same thing that matches your light for the shadows. So if I was using three for my shadows, then I would set this to three. But I'm, again, I'm using two, so I'll set that back to two. And of course, go ahead and draw out your polygons to shape that. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. So here for occluder and the inspector, I'll just select new polygon. And I can go ahead and, whoops, where's my occluder? There it is. All right, we can go in here and we can start adding. Boom, and just start clicking to add our occluder in. If you've looked at some of the other videos on the channel, you may have already done this uh, in the past. But there you go. And now we have our shadows being cast. Now, that's all well and uh, fine, right? However, the thing is, is our character here that we're trying to hide 
Or maybe it's an object, doesn't have to be another character. All right, so default, this is what yours should look like at this point. Um, you can still see the character or sprite or image or whatever it is that you're trying to hide. And of course, we want to hide that, hide the part that's going to be in the shadow. So in order to do that here on God of War, we can just go to our sprite. So I'm going to go to my actual sprite 2D node here. And what we're going to do is we can just go to the material. We're going to add a new canvas material. We're going to set the blend mode to, uh, I believe it's mix still. I believe we're just going to leave it there. And the light mode, we change to light only. And just like that, the shadow is going to act like a mask for what we can and can't see. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see uh, exactly how that is working. And if we were to come around the corner, you can see there it is. They're fully exposed. And as we go around, the shadows will hide them again. And like I mentioned, if you really wanted to, um, the point light, the shape is going to be all up to you. So if you wanted to use, say, a light cone, you can go ahead and use a texture like that. Let me just click back over. There we go. We can come in and we can see uh, how that's affected there. So uh, the opacity in that is going to be affected. I'll just uh, tweak that so I can get my full strength of my cone because I already tweaked opacity on my own. And you see as I rotate, there we go. We get detected there uh, only when our light is hitting uh, that object. All right. Now, if you've never done uh, Raycast, in the form of a cone before. Um, this is how a lot of characters actually uh, function as far as their view cones. They don't just have one raycast, they have a bunch of raycasts going out. So if I were to zoom in here, you can see all of uh, my raycasts here coming out into my cone shape. And that's only gonna detect a character body 2D, so I'm ignoring my static body. And if you're curious about that, that's uh, the script that I have on there. It's nothing fancy. We're just saying if uh, self, because our self is the raycast. So we're saying if our raycast is colliding, then I'm going to check if the collider is a character body 2D. And then in my case, I'm just printing it out. But for you, if you're detecting a character or if your AI is detecting the player, for example, you could then raise it to an alert level or set them in search mode or whatever it is that you want your AI to do at that point. All right, and there you go. There you have it. There's how we can create that Among Us style of lighting for our games. And you, that way we can use shadows to mask out objects that we don't want to see unless light is on it. Also, as a little bit of a note here, I went ahead, I just created just a random light, gave it a texture. And if you were to be using this in maybe a spooky type of environment, maybe this is going to be like a torch light or something. I'll turn this down, say 0 0.5, right? So they're still going to be exposed uh, when they walk into that light. You don't have to do any setup to your, to any additional lights that you put in your scene. It'll just work. All right. So there you go. Take care. Have yourselves a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.